Today's gonna be a fun one, I hope. Uh, Declaration Grooming Weinstrasse with a Dogwood Handcrafts 24 mil Declaration Grooming Knot. And today's, actually, I'm just gonna lather first. Get that ready. But you can probably tell from the title, thumbnail, whatever. That I am going to be using a a vintage razor single edge gem razor I don't know the correct classification for this type of razor I guess is uh, I guess the gem razors are a type of single edge razor I'm gonna assume that's the case. I really didn't look up much about it because I wanna approach it as a complete newbie. And that's, I think that's a great way to do it. You know, especially if there's certain, you know, already use your experiences about something if you go into it blind you won't get scared or put off by certain things okay so this is the ever ready gold plated brass 1912 and that's all i know about it i don't know how much it costs or what costs so this comes by the way of HD Shaves. He sent over uh, three types, uh, three of these types of this type of razor to me, just to try out. And thank you. And hopefully, I can get it to work. I don't know how this works, so I'm guessing. I'm really scared of breaking this because I don't know how much this stuff is worth. 1912, I'm gonna assume it's very, very highly collectible. These are the blades. I'm assuming there's no specific side. I don't know how to remove this. Or am I just supposed to peel it, maybe? Uh, okay, I think that's the right way to do it. So, HD told me to go for this one, try this one first because it is the middle of the road. I guess he sent one that's mild, medium, and a little more efficient. So I am going to assume I'm doing it right. I really should have looked this up before I did this so that I don't mess up someone else's razor. Is that right? Am I doing it right? And then I clamp down. I have to make sure both ends are touching the blade and then I'm just going to close. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with this. Okay, all right. So again, lots of advice from HD. He said to Ride the cap, kind of warm it up. Hmm, I have a day and a half of growth. Okay, it's cutting. Very comfortable, actually. Yep, there's hair cutting. You hear that? I'm 
Sorry, my heat just turned on. It's really not that bad. I always thought this open cone look made these types of razors look scary. Guess I'm just being a wuss. I absolutely do take HD's worth, uh, wor uh, words when it comes to, to account when it comes to like how it would feel because he likes the 34C McCore. And I like it a lot too. So if he's using that as a baseline, Okay, I think I think I'm going a little fast now because I'm getting cocky with it maybe. Yep. It's actually really comfortable and relatively safe feeling. Sorry if this video is going to take a long time because I want to make sure doing this right. First pass. Not bad, not bad. I'm really worried that this water is gonna affect the plating. Man, that, that razor is good. Whoa. They're actually really comfortable. I like I even I can't even I don't like some of the Vintage Gillette's. Granted, I also have not tried uh, a lot of them. I do have a slim adjustable. I hate that. No, I don't hate it. I hate it. That's a strong word, but I'm not a big fan of. I've tried the flare tip. Black tip. As well, I don't like them because they, they feel so harsh. 
or like the blade doesn't clamp down well but this feels like it holds the blade down really well and it doesn't feel harsh or like it's gonna cut me at all so I can pass I'm just gonna do pass two two passes with this If this is the middle of the road, I wonder how the mild would feel. Like this is very comfortable. I am riding the cap though. It's sort of weird because of this separation, I guess like this empty space and the how you apply pressure to your skin Feels like a. Def, it's definitely more mild than a 0.95 Wolfman. By carb standings, maybe like a. A, 8.5. But again, this is my first use ever of this razor and this style razor. Like right here, I'm not feeling the blade. That's a good thing, right? I just don't know if I'm applying proper technique, using proper technique. I don't want to accidentally apply too much pressure. Woohoo! Sorry, I'm blocking the camera. I am pleasantly surprised. This is, that's a very comfortable shave. Like, this is a very nice shaver. Way better than the freaking, some of the vintage Gillette. I'm gonna end it there. That was a nice and comfortable close shave. Yeah, I'm gonna take this thing for a photo shoot. <laughs> Check the Instagram. Um, thank you again for HD. I'm gonna try the other ones in the next few videos. And we'll see how those work out. Thanks for watching.